Following Blues 1 or draw at Portman Road on Friday night, manager Gary Rowett is looking ahead to the Capital One Cup tie at Villa Park. Uh, no, yeah, we've got a couple. Uh, been in for treatment over the weekend after Friday night's game. That's that's normal. Um, I would say a couple of our players that played uh, would be touch and go whether they're going to be fit for Tuesday night. <clears throat> Again, you hope that um, having today and having all of tomorrow might give them a good chance. Uh, but we'll see. But apart from that, everyone else is fit and available, so it's nothing um, untoward. I can guarantee every single player wants to play. Um, we certainly won't be rotating players or, or trying to keep anyone fresh. So we'll put our strongest team that we've got available that I think can win the game in whatever formation or whatever um, individuals that is that plays. But uh, we've got one or two that are, that are um, struggling to be fit at this moment. We've had the nicety, if you like, and, and it depends on which way you look at the competition, because I think it's an excellent competition, but when you've got a small squad and you're, you're championing for a, to be up and around um, the promotion places this season in the championship, but we viewed this competition as, as an opportunity to keep people fit and, and certainly playing against... Um, Bristol Rovers and Gillingham, we've been able to make some good changes, but it hasn't affected our performances. So, um, But the first thing you, you notice when the draw is made, don't think we'll be able to play nine or make nine changes in that game. Tuesday's match will be Rowett's first involvement in a second City derby and the first since 2011, a stat which the manager is keen for his side to respect. I think first of all, we have to be respectful and realise that the, the reason we've not um, had one of these for five years is because we've not been in the Premier League uh, and Villa have. So I think first and foremost, we have to give them the respect that's due, that they're a, they're a very good side. Um, both teams, obviously the traditions of both teams are huge over, over history. Um, and I think that as players and as staff, you know, this is a game that we relish. You know, it's a great game to be part of. Um, it's a sort of thing you want to be part of and you want to experience. Um, you hope that the result goes your way. You're fearful if the result doesn't go your way because of what it means to the fans. Uh, and that's the biggest thing, you know, you want to do it for the fans. I think most games you want to do it for yourselves in some ways. You want to do it for the team and, and the points you get on the board. This is a, a unique game that you want to do well for the fans. Um, and I've, I'd like to think that, you know, we've consistently delivered for our fans over the last nine or ten months so we should be very confident going into the game um, you know we've had that we've had that success I think we've won nearly half of all of our games um, since we've been here so um, you know I think we should have nothing to fear certainly. Since the draw the match has been the talk of the city and the manager is expecting a much feistier affair than normal. I think local derbies as well though you want to go in there and you want to make the game a little bit hotter than normal you want to make the game a little bit feistier than normal just because I think that's the way these games go and, and when derbies are great that's often the reason why they're great because there's such an edge to the game and, and, and that and that transpires through to the players. But I think that's something you have to do with an element of control as well. Um, you know, we have to be controlled in the game. We have to make sure we stick to whatever game plan we put out. Um, but also you want a little bit of that passion to spill out also. And I'm, I'm aware of football rivalry. I'm aware of, you know, some of the other connotations to that and, and what goes on. But all I can say is that I just hope that it's a game where we're talking about a great game of football on, on, on the night. Um, that's the only thing that I can say and, and hope we do our fans proud. And, and, you know, I'm hoping likewise that the fans of both teams do us proud. And the manager is sure his opposite number, Tim Sherwood, will get his side up for Tuesday's tie. I mean, listen, Tim's in the same job as me. I, it's a difficult job. You know, I've got a lot of respect. Uh, I thought the job he did at Tottenham um, was an excellent job. You know, they were really cavalier at times at Tottenham and that got them some great wins and, and some defeats. Um, I don't expect their approach at Villa to be any different, but like you say, because of their recent... Um, or their start to the season, I think they're, you know, fourth from bottom in the table. But I think the game is an extra pressure for them but you can look at that different ways you know that I'm sure they'll be saying that what way to turn the form round and to win a local derby so you can it can be spun any way you want I think the, the the thing for us is we've got nothing to fear I think we've got to go there and enjoy the game we've got to go there and play without pressure and I think we can do that because of the way we've performed over recent weeks and recent months you know that we've uh, we've been very very good we've won games consistently and I think it's another game where we've got to go into it thinking that we can cause Villa one or two problems.